So we're all on very similar wings. You give us a few minutes going the wrong way and we're all down. So going XC is about seeing the opportunities. In the beginning, you look at things, but you don't see. You don't recognize the signs. Things can be right in front of you, but you don't notice them or know what to do with them. So there's a lot of stuff that you can learn that you will use in cross-country flying. And don't be in too much of a hurry to scuttle off and go cross-country and then find a, a gap in your skills that you could have been training on the hill. You want to build a good foundation so that you can use those skills when you get somewhere that's a bit odd. And the kind of skills I'm talking about, using the terrain and being able to read where the turbulence is going to be on the terrain. So you're flying around trying to identify what part of the hill is going to create turbulence and what little obstacles are going to create turbulence and then flying there and finding out okay that's a bit bumpy there this piece is nice you want to try and work on those hill skills catching thermals tracking thermals and you want to work to the stage of being the top dog if the other pilots are around you must be on top if you're not why aren't you They've got similar glider to you. So they've gone somewhere that's better than where you are. So work on that on the hill the whole time. Be a bit competitive with the other pilots and try and always be the top dog. And then you want to work on slope landing, top landing, tight landings, crosswind landings, strong wind landings. All of that work is going to help you improve your confidence at landing somewhere strange. You're trying to top out in that first thermal. You're always trying to use as much of that lift as you can and to get right up to the top. And you can see it's getting a bit bouncy and sporty now. And that's because I've probably got up to the inversion layer. This is your fuel for your cross country. You, you need to top up as much as you can from that climb from the hill. And then you can go on a long glide from this point. Let's talk a little bit about gliding well. For your first cross country, I'm expecting you flying at 20 kilometers an hour. It just means you've got up in the thermal and you're gonna go downwind. It's by far the easiest. Obviously, you need to find a safe route, but try and go with the wind. If you're going with the wind, just put your hands up, chill out. Don't worry about speed bar, or any of that. Just hands up glide. You can always get back to the hill one way or another. Don't let the fear of the uncertainty get in the way of a grand adventure. Leaving the hill and going cross country is a rare freedom. It's pure and primal and powerful and good for the soul. It's where your skills are properly tested and your learning is elevated to another level as you apply your knowledge and take decisions and trust your instincts to follow your dreams over the horizon. Good luck with your cross-country flying. For more tips, check out the full first cross-country live stream here on YouTube, or join me on my website to follow a unique flight training syllabus and surround yourself with a great community of paraglider pilots who enjoy learning together.